Good morning and welcome to Eagles Nest Live for your AHS Morning News. Hello, I'm Sally. And I'm Andy. And we're here to provide you with the news for today, Wednesday, August 26th. Attention students, FCA will have its first meeting of the year this Thursday at 740 in the auditorium. All students are invited to come. The second annual freshman tailgate party is coming up on Thursday, September 3rd in the Little Gym at 330. Free food, free games, and free admission to the football game for all freshmen and their mentors. Today is recycling day. Miss Roberts students will be picking up recyclable materials during first period. They will not knock on your door requesting for these bins, so please place your blue bins outside the classroom door at this time. Attention freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. Please stop by the table in front of the guidance office today during lunch and vote for your class representatives for the student council. There are almost 50 students running, so be sure to cast your vote. Okay, I'm here with Mr. Mattingly talking about laptops. So what is the price if you lose your laptop charger? If you lose your charger, you have to buy a new one. It's $54 to buy a new laptop charger. What are the responsibilities for a student with the laptop? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because what I would like for all students to know is that you, can, you have to have your case with your laptop at all times. There's one right here without a case. So if you don't have your case, we keep the laptop in here. Also, make sure you... Do not write on your case or your laptop. Try to take as good a care of it as you possibly can because if it's broken or uh, anything needs to be fixed, then it will cost you some money. And so the students aren't allowed to put their laptops in their backpacks? Not see that a lot. Case. You're right. Only if it's in the case. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Mattingly. So, students, if you ever need any help with your laptop, just go to the help desk and they will help you out. And make sure to keep up with your laptop and all of its accessories. The boys' JV soccer team also defeated Hopkins County Central 2-0. Scoring for JV was Wee Yun and Sam Boswell. Wee Yun had the only assist. John Zuber played in goal. JV's team's record is 4-1. The boys' varsity soccer team defeated Hopkins County Central last night 9-0. Freshman Noel Paz led the way with the hat trick, scoring three goals, and Nathan Taylor scored two goals. Gason Sales, Tyler Webb, Legend Borman, and Lucas Wrigling each scored one goal. Brady Blythe had two Scoring passes. Nathan Taylor, Legend Borman, and Gason Sales each added an assist as well. Evan Tidwell played a goal. The EGAL soccer team defeated the Lady Devils of OHS last night. Scoring for the EGALs were Shelby Taylor and Allie Boone with two goals each. Sammy Roberts and Shelby Taylor each had an assist, and keeper Presley Bryant had four saves. The entire team played tremendously, and the EGALs will play their home opener tomorrow against Christian County. Congratulations, girls. The boys cross country team team kicked off their season last night at the Kentucky-Indiana border clash with a sixth place finish. 26 teams from the Kentucky and Southern Indiana competed in the event. The Eagles were led by senior Seth Boone who finished 16 out of 370 athletes. Rounding out the top seven for the Eagles were sophomores Colby, Colby Wiseman, Jalen Taylor, Will Scott, Houston Gore, Oliver Melton, and Lane Mackey. The boys next competition is this Saturday at the Louisville St. X Tiger Run. Last evening, the girls' cross-country teams competed in the Kentucky-Indiana Border Clash. Holly O'Brien ran a 21-29 time, finishing in 35th place. Emma Stovall ran a 21-48 time and placed 43rd. Caitlin Alvey had a time of 24-01 and finished 95th. Elizabeth Borman ran a 25-58 and placed 132nd. And Brianna Thacker ran a 27-49 and finished 139th. Congratulations, girls. Have you ever eaten in the same lunch line because you don't know what's in the other lines? There is an easy fix to your problem. 
Every week, Miss Michelle Combs sends an email out to every student at Apollo listing the food and what line it is located in. Looking at this email can save you the trouble of not knowing. volleyball team lost last night in three sets, 13-21, 21-15, and 12-21. Stat leaders included Carly Widmer with two aces, nine kills, and six assists. Ansley Hopewell had five aces, five kills, and an assist, and five digs. Natalie Ewing had three kills and a block. Jenna McMillan had four kills and two digs. Hallie Wilson had five digs and an assist, and Mary Catherine Edge had eight digs. Last night, the JV volleyball team won in three sets. 21-9, 21-17, and 21-18. Stat leaders included Katarina Mayer with 13 digs, Lauren Floyd with three aces, five assists, and a dig, Carly Widmer with five kills, three assists, and seven digs, Cassie Blanford with four kills and four digs, Brooklyn Patterson had three kills, and Faith Cecil had nine digs. The varsity volleyball team fell to Owensboro Catholic last night. 25-21, 25-17, 25-22. Margaret O'Brien led the offense with 14 kills and 10 digs. Jordan Coombs had 7 kills, 18 assists, 10 digs. Kinsey Toms had 14 digs. Delaney Rideout had 3 digs. Hannah Nash had 12 assists and 6 digs. Mahela Moss had 4 kills and 11 digs. The team is now 5-2 and returns to play this weekend at the Bluegrass Invitational Tournament in Lexington. Last night, Briley Carter shot a 40 and Lexi Payne a 52 to help Apollo's golf team play second against OHS, DCHS, and Ohio County. Briley also finished second overall as an individual. Congratulations, girls. Anyone interested in doing quick recall is welcome to stay after school today for practice. Please meet in room 304. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Mann, Mr. Poff, or Mr. Van Bessem. On today's lunch menu in the Mama's Kitchen line, we will be having spicy chicken or fish strips, baked beans, macaroni and cheese, coleslaw, fruit choice, roll, and ice cream. And the Global Fair line, pasta bar with breadstick or pizza, Caesar salad, California blend, vegetables, fruit choice, and ice cream. And the sandwich line, a choice of cheeseburger, grilled chicken, Philly steak and cheese, peanut butter and jelly, hot ham and cheese, barbecue rib sandwich, fries, veggies and dip, salad, fruit choice, and ice cream. And the sub and salad line, burrito bar, chef salad, fruit choice, veggies and dip, and ice cream. We'd like to wish all students good luck in their co-curricular activities. Have a great day. Good morning, faculty, staff, and students. Today, uh, Mr. Broughton couldn't be here this morning, so uh, I'll be reading off birthdays. Uh, we have Jesse Krask, James Graham, Parker Mitchell, and Samuel Wood. We would like to wish them a happy birthday and have a great day in the Big A. Please stand. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.